Hey guys, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Hey, I was just gonna make this little video here about the water pumps on these uh, front load washers. A lot of these water pumps are very similar. This is a Samsung. It's probably this this pump here is very similar to the Samsung. Not exactly the same, but very similar. And so what normally happens is if you don't clean these pumps out um, on this one, once again, you have the cleaning port. You have to clean them out once a year. I have other videos on that. You could Google how to clean your filter on your machine and find the information. But what happens is if you don't clean these pumps out, what happens is sometimes these impellers, now this is part of this pump here. It's This I believe is like a Kenmore pump or a Whirlpool pump. Very similar, they're very similar. Um, and they normally have these types of impellers. And you notice this has some kind of like black, dark stuff on the end. And what I've done is I've repaired this actually. And what happens is on these impellers or propellers, whatever you want to call them, is um, there'll be too much slop in them. They won't react like this. Normally if you push it, then you should see that, that distinctive magnetic jump there. If you don't see that distinctive magnetic jump, what has happened is in between the motor shaft and uh, the impeller, there's sort of like a little grommet that takes the shock of the impeller uh, out of the motor. So there's actually another piece in here that you don't see. It's sort of like a little sleeve or grommet or spline in between this and the motor shaft. And so what happens is that grommet or little rubber spline in between there loses its ability to grab the uh, motor shaft. And so when it does, then you won't see this distinctive uh, reaction here. It'll just kind of like kind of go back and forth when, and it, it just won't have anything much to it. And so even if it does have a little bit to it, it may not be enough because when these things get under pressure and they just don't work right, if the little grommet in there has kind of fallen apart. So what I normally do, you can do a quick temporary fix just to get you by. I don't know how long it'll get, get you by, but I've done this one. Basically, I just take a hacksaw, open it up the end a little bit, slice it back a little here, slice it back a little there, a little there, and then I'll put epoxy inside there. And what that'll do is that will um, seal up the grommet and allow a direct connection between the motor shaft and the propeller or impeller. And so that's a quick fix tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me. 707-599-4489 Pacific Time. Uh, I give phone advice for $25. You can also send me an email if you'd like. Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. And thanks for watching.